In this video, I'll show you how you can add a table of contents to Google Docs. We can do this in under two minutes, and here's how. So what you need to do first, you need to go ahead and add your table of contents. To do this, what I would do is just go ahead and bring your text down a little bit, then go to insert, go to table of contents, and you can add one here with page numbers or just with blue links. For me, I'm gonna add it with page numbers and it will load here. So now we've got our table of contents. So now you can see obviously this doesn't look like a contents. Um, it obviously isn't set up yet. What we need to do now, we need to go ahead and change our headers into headers that Google can recognize. So why you should subscribe is a header and I've got more headers further down the page. So the like button, why it's important and so on. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to change these into actual headers that Google Docs can recognize. So if you highlight your first header, you can then go to format, you can go to text or paragraph styles, sorry, and you want to change it to a header one. And that will change the text here. Now that will change the way it looks and the size. So if you just highlight it and you go to format, paragraph styles, and you just go ahead and change it to normal text again. You can then go to format, paragraph styles, heading one, and you just update heading one to match. Now this will be a heading one without it looking like a heading one, if you get what I mean. Now you can do this for all of your headers. So I'm just going to go to the second header, highlight that, go to format, paragraph styles, heading one, update heading one to match. And then again for the final one, if I can find it, Okay, so for me, I'm just gonna do two headings. But now what you would do, you would click on this box here and you can just refresh the table of contents. And you can see, we've now got our table of contents. So on page one, we've got why you should subscribe. And on page three, we've got the like button and why it's important. So that's basically how you can do it. All you have to do is highlight your headers, go to format, go to paragraph styles, heading one and update that text to be a heading one. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.